My name is Chris Larkin. I run Roughhouse Jiu Jitsu of Columbus. We're here in Gahanna, Ohio, and I invite everybody to come try a class, even if you've never done Jiu Jitsu. Um, it's you know a great sport. You can come in, learn in a friendly environment, learn how to protect yourself, learn some uh, great physical fitness, um, some advice that if you've never trained Jiu Jitsu, even those of you who have trained Jiu Jitsu, is patience. Um, you know, your first class will be a little bit intimidating. You may not know anything. But everybody was where you were at one time, you know, stepping on the mat for the first time. Just have patience. Keep continuing to show up, and you'll slowly progress. You'll slowly start seeing things clicking. Um, but the, the biggest thing is just continue to show up. Everything's intimidating until you, you know, commit to it. And just, you know, that's the, the biggest piece of advice is just keep committing and keep showing up. And eventually you'll be doing stuff and realizing you weren't even thinking about it. You were just doing stuff. And that's the beauty with jiu-jitsu is... You know, as long as you keep showing up, you you will get better. Jiu Jitsu is uh it's it's not a race, it's a individual sport. So you will grow at your speed. Some people are a little bit more naturally athletic. Some people wrestled. Some people have never done anything athletic. Um, so don't ever judge you know your growth off of the people around you. It's it's truly you know it's an individual sport and an individual journey. So just you know stay with it and have a good time. I was pulling it here and coming here. He asked if it mattered if I came here in front of the arm. It's not gonna make a difference. I can still get that there, find that V, that, that first piece of fabric, shave the ear, and get the chirp, okay? I started teaching jiu-jitsu um, because I really fell in love with the sport and as I'm getting older um, it's just my way to get back to all the pe young people that are entering the sport now um, show respect to my professor Arthur who I started training with back in 2009 it's just you know I, I enjoy seeing the growth of some of my students uh, just a few weeks ago I promoted my first black belt and I brought him up from a high school wrestler from white belt all the way up to a black belt it is really fun, you know, uh, watching the growth of the younger kids now. You know, these kids are doing stuff that I couldn't even imagine doing at, you know, 15 years ago. Nice, David, nice transition, beautiful. I always like to encourage my students to compete because when you're in the gym, you're training against other people that are learning your style, your game. Um, when you go to a competition, you're going to compete against people that have different styles, different games. And it really is a great way to test yourself and you know see what you're, 
what you've learned is working and you know if you don't feel like competing there's no pressure it's just it's a it's a really good um, way to you know see where you're, where you're at in your sport your with your sport of jujitsu yourself <laughs>